the baby back rib. One of my favorite cuts for competitions and winning the hearts and admiration of my coworkers, family, and friends in the backyard. This is such an easy meat to put on the grill. We're gonna top them with a little bit of apricot chipotle barbecue sauce. You know the barbecue sauce is gonna be good when the first ingredient is bacon. Let's get these baby backs cleaned up, seasoned, and put them on the Kamado Joe. All right, so we've got the Kamado Joe at 225 degrees. Got a nice little fire going. Now we're gonna put some hickory on. Here, we're gonna treat smoke as if it were a seasoning. Now we put our second deflector shield in. And essentially, we've just turned this Kamada Joe into an oven. So the membrane is located on the inside of the ribs. Now this can be very simple for some racks and a little more difficult for others, but it's important to take that off. Notice how I'm just peeling on the corner. I'm gonna be very careful not to rip it and just peel it right back. All right, now let's peel the other two off and we can start getting some seasoning on. We're gonna let that sit for just a couple minutes. Let the salt start to do its work. Take a look at that. Antibiotic free, hormone free, humanely handled pork is unreal. This is how pork used to be. This is how pork should be. So notice how that smoke is really cleaned up. It's just streaming out. So let's lay these rib side down, 225 degrees, hickory smoke, little space in between each rack. Let's check back in two hours. Let's talk our way through the apricot chipotle barbecue sauce. We've got it simmering on the grill with the ribs right now. We'll give you the recipe with all the ingredients, but let's just run through them and take a look. Cheshire pork, smoked bacon, ends and pieces. And I take these and I mince them up and that's what we start the sauce out with. So again, you're gonna get a pot, put a little oil in there, render some of that bacon out. Then we'll go straight in with some minced onions. Minced garlic, apricot, chipotle, ketchup, garlic chili sauce, a little Coleman's mustard, paprika, salt and pepper. We'll simmer those down a little bit, knock in a little bit of orange juice and malt vinegar. All right, so we've got all those ingredients in this pot here that's been on the grill. It's simmered down, it's at a nice viscosity, but we're gonna puree this so that we can paint it on the outside of our ribs. I'm seeing some nice color here. Now it's time to wrap the ribs and put them back on. So we'll take our foil and just put our ribs right on there. Let's get all of them wrapped. At this point, we're gonna take our sauce off and puree it. We'll check back on these ribs in an hour. Look at the viscosity of that really nice sauce now. Let's see how our ribs are doing after an hour of being tented. Oh yeah. Now we go on with our sauce and we're gonna give it another hour of just roasting with that bacon barbecue sauce on it. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. I couldn't wait the whole extra hour. Let's go ahead and take a look. Spot on. Great looking crust. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Look at how that just set up on there. Let's let them rest for just a minute and we'll start slicing. One thing I like to do is flip them over and cut from the bottom side. You're able to follow the meat line and the bone better and just cut right through the meat. Fantastic. Nice bit of smoke ring there. And that bone just pulls right out. I mean, that's a gorgeous color there. You see the red there, that bit's from the smoke. This is where Cheshire Pork and Kamada Joe, just a perfect combination. You just can't beat the simplicity of a perfectly cooked rib. So folks, thanks for hanging out with us. Join us next time as we explore another cut from Cheshire Pork, but go out there and try it yourself. This is easy stuff, folks. Keep it simple, make it perfect.